Hello and welcome to the video. Today I'm showing you one of the best quality motorcycle roll bags I've ever seen on the market. This product is made by Foggy Garage and they've kindly sent me this to unbox and review for you. I'll be installing this on my Interceptor, then onto my wife's Meteor 350. After that, we'll go for a ride and give the bag a real world test. So if you're interested in a very durable roll bag that fits the Meteor, Interceptor and many other motorcycles without any additional brackets, keep watching. Firstly, let's get this unboxed. It comes nicely packed in a strong box and a free dust bag. The top section is made with salt and pepper cotton, a traditional high quality weaved fabric. The lower section is made with Italian full grain vegetable tanned leather. In the box you also get a thank you message with a bit of background from the company. Products are thoroughly tested and handmade in their studios, manufactured with vintage sewing machines. Certainly a company that rides bikes and is passionate about the products they make. There's also a warranty return form included. This product has a lifetime maintenance, so if it gets damaged and Foggy Garage can repair it, they will do so for free, providing you pay postage costs. The fastings are made from high quality brass and they are all handmade. Releasing this fastening is a breeze, but it's still secure when closed. The inside bottom of the bag is hard lined to support your luggage. Included are two 4mm thick 4 grain leather straps, so you can fix this to a motorcycle frame. Even the brand tags have a quality feel to them. On the back we have various mounting options that are spaced apart to allow for a very versatile fit. On the end of the bag is a stylish brass logo that is riveted to the side of the bag. The brass buckles are high quality, and as you can see here, the leather is very thick. These buckles can be adjusted so you can tighten the bag further. Having a removable buckle also makes it useful to replace if one should wear out years down the line. To buy this product, click the link in the description below. You will also receive 10% discount. It has a very weighty feel to the bag. In fact, the whole bag weighs over one kilogram, suggesting no cheap and nasty materials have been used here. The measurements are as follows. The end mountings are 19 centimeters apart. Here I will show you how easy it is to install to a Rolling Field Interceptor 650. I remove the seat and wrap the straps around the frame. This bag is ideal here because the stock exhausts sit high and this bag doesn't go anywhere near them. No additional brackets are required. As you can see, the bag really suits the bike. It's a classic style bike, so it makes sense to use a vintage designed product. Now I'm going to install it on my wife's Meteor 350. Again, using the two straps included it is very simple to install. I think this tool bag suits the Meteor even more, much to Jody's delight because I want it. Speaking of Jody, we are now both going to get out on the bikes and give this a real road test. Catch you in a bit. Oh, that bag is looking good on there. <laughs> That's a nice position for that bag on the back there, isn't it? It is, that was perfect. Is it perfect? It's perfect. You crazy woman. <laughs> I thought they were going all the way around then, the way I was indicating. Because we get quite a few emails from people wanting us to promote their products, but some stand out and this one really stood out, didn't it? Yeah, because I was originally looking for a bag like that when I bought my other one. But um, I, can't, I don't think the website I was looking on had one that I liked, if I remember rightly, which is why I didn't go for it. 
and yeah. um, I can't see that I'll be using the other one much at all now. <laughs> Because we uh, looked on the website and we just looked at their products and they look really good quality. Yeah. And it is. Now this I've had my, my mitts on them. They sell quite a few stuff, didn't they? Yeah, quite a variety of things. Some of the gloves look quite good as well. Yeah, gloves, the helmets, saddle bags. Helmets as well, Yeah, it? helmets. Uh, even the little peaks that you can put on, they do leather peaks with their branded Foggy Garage logo on. Oh cool, I didn't see them. Neck tubes, jerseys, boots, trousers, all vintage. And when you read about the company, they seem really passionate about what they do. They ride bikes and they're all, they've been tested as well. They drove ride across India and stuff like that. Yeah, so they've been uh, really tried and tested. All handmade stuff. Yeah, I know, I couldn't believe, because not a lot of stuff is handmade anymore, is it? So I couldn't no. believe when uh, you told me that. It just goes with the bike theme, doesn't it? It's a classic retro bike. And you want those vintage products on it. Yeah. That not uh, just look vintage, they're made in a vintage sort of way as well, like handmade using sewing machines and stuff like that. Oh, that's gives, crazy, isn't it? Just gives it that extra special feel and look to it as well. Yeah, Nicely packed as well, and that box was so strong. I know. That's what the first thing I said when I was like, I said, are you going to keep this box? Because it's a good box. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I could literally put my whole weight on it and stand on it. So that's sturdy. I do like a sturdy box. I'm not even lying. I do keep good boxes. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. No, you never know. But it came with a little uh, thank you note, some stickers, a bit of background on the company. It's quite a nice touch, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I'm really impressed with it. It's, um, it feels really thick leather as well, like the straps are really thick. Yeah. Like, I don't want to slate my other one because I do love it. But the uh, in comparison, now that we've seen this one, the oh straps no. on it are really flimsy and I didn't realise before. Yeah, when I was taking yours off to put that on, it just felt like it was the material was a lot thinner. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and the fact that the straps are so thick on that, where it's new, it's quite hard to pull the thing tight. So, uh, so I imagine as you, it wears in, that will get better. Yeah, because it will be used uh, like the notch that I use it on. Yeah. And we had trouble deciding who was going to keep it, didn't we? Well, I mean, I didn't have any trouble, but <laughs> apparently <laughs> you did. <laughs> and uh, we'd done uh, rock, paper, scissors and decided who would get it. And uh, guess who won? Uh, hey. Best of three? Yes. Oh, mate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Looks like you get the bag. Yes. <laughs> we all knew that's going to happen anyway. Me, I'm the champion of all games. Yep. <laughs> the cheater of all games. I mean, <laughs> how can you cheat at that? Seriously. <laughs> that speaks oh. for itself. I, I would have given it to you anyway. That's the honourable thing to do, isn't it? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I do like my bags, as you know. I do think I will purchase another one. I quite like, you know that um, leather medical bag? You yeah. see that, do you remember that one? It had like a, look it was a med pack. Yeah, that was brilliant. I've never had, seen anything like that. It had the red cross on it, didn't it? Like it, you'd get in the army. Yeah. I think, because it was like in that leather red, when it turned red. That'd go good. That'd look good on your bike. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's cool. It's all like the vintage stuff, or the, the stuff you don't normally see these days, but built up to today's standards. Yeah, definitely. Like, you know, it just doesn't look generic. Yeah, it's, it's got that special handmade touch to it. Yeah. And I do like things to look a little bit special. So now we're off on a bimble. We're going to get some snacks and fill up the tool roll. Yes, it's Saturday evening, need some snacks for the telly or if we're going to have a little game. I'm going to see how much we can stick in your tool 
No, not a tall roll, is it really? No, it's bigger uh, than a tall roll because yeah. I was looking at them and they're pretty small. I mean, I wasn't going to put tools in it, don't get me wrong. <laughs> don't be oh, no, silly. Oh no, it's always got to be snacks, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> always. And the good thing about that as well, it's got lifetime maintenance warranty on it. Yeah, so like if they're any damage on it yeah you can just send it back and they'll repair it and send it back to you and you don't get that a lot anymore with anything really no it's a passionate company with that personal touch they're not greedy you're paying for quality here aren't you yeah and they're very responsive to communication as well yeah very nice communication with them very impressed yeah i am as well might be getting some gloves. <laughs> have a little look, see what I fancy. I don't like to keep promoting products, but when nice companies like that come forward with really good products, I can't say no. No, especially when they're like really wanting to try and branch out. And it seems silly not to, as Royal Enfields are so popular over here at the minute. Yep, definitely. As we know, the uh, Meteor is the highest selling bike in the UK this year. Yeah, you keep bragging about that, don't you? <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Right, so we're going to pop to the shop now, get some goodies for our Saturday night. We're going to fill up the uh, roll bag, see, if we've got <laughs> see how much we can put in there. So we'll catch you in a bit. See you in a bit. Let's get our gloves out. I don't think we're going to fit your bottle in there. Do no. we will? Let's give it a go. I'll put my bottle in first and let's give it a go. I forgot I had a bit of glass in there. <laughs> Wait. Does that actually fit in yeah, there? That's crazy. That fits in there. <laughs> How? I've got room to spare. Where's my marshmallows? Odd <laughs> knobs. Let's see if they fit. Oh, I think we're pushing it to its limit then. I think we're taking the pee. It can still fit quite a bit in there. I can't believe you've got a bottle of vodka in there. <laughs> Not encouraged drinking. You shouldn't drink. It's very naughty. <laughs> Jodie's a naughty girl. Do it in moderation and all that jazz. Right, there's the end of the video. Thank you for watching this. It is a good product, so I would not try and promote it if it weren't. So if you want to buy this product, click in the link in the description below. Especially if you want to be able to easily carry bottles of vodka home. <laughs> oh, I don't encourage that. <laughs> <laughs> Please subscribe for more videos. We do a lot of vlogs, do some maintenance tips. Until then, I've been Nick. I've been Joe. And we'll catch you on the next episode. Ride safe.